Hey everyone, so this time I have some current and last gen pickups. Uh, mostly last gen with just one. Uh, actually, no, they're all they're all last gen games. So uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, first, I have some DS games. Um, I got another copy of Pokemon White version. This one, I'm just gonna keep it sealed as is. Um, I got it from Shoppers. They had it for twenty bucks, uh, and I had a ten dollar. Uh, I got $10 off with my points, uh, so I only paid $10 plus tax on it. Uh, so I will just keep that as is, hoping that eventually it'll be worth something. The next game I got, I got two uh, games from uh, uh, from uh, EB Games, because they had the uh, 2 for 20 deal right now. So it was any games priced between $9.99 and $14.99, uh, you would get them uh, for ten dollars each, so I picked two games that were for fourteen ninety nine, and the games are uh, Dragon Quest Sentinels of the Starry Skies, so Dragon Quest Nine, and the other game that I got was uh, Bleach the Third Phantom. Uh, now instead of being a fighting game like the other Bleach games, this one here is a tactical turn-based RPG, and uh, it, it, it's actually not that good, so I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, but apparently it has some value to it, like it's worth like 30 or 40 bucks, uh, but I'm just going to hold on to it. I'll, I'll, I'll give it another shot eventually, but right now it's just, it, it wasn't that good. Now the next game that I have, uh, the story behind this is that a guy went into... Uh, Sorry, a guy went into uh, EB Games looking to trade in an entire stack of games uh, to get a PS Vita. Uh, he got the Vita, uh, the Vita. He got the Vita, but uh, what happened is they were uh, like they took most of the games except for this last one because they told him, "Oh, well, it's a PAL game." So, uh, because it's from Europe, it doesn't have the ESRB rating on it, so we can't take that because we can't put it for sale without the ESRB rating on it. Some excuse like that. And then he's like, oh, but either way, we'd only give you, like, two bucks for that game. Um, so the guy ended up just keeping the game. I go over to him, I'm like, hey, uh, could I possibly buy that game off of you? Uh, he's like, sure. Uh, I took a look at it, and I was like, would you take five bucks for it? He's like, sure, uh, why not? Uh, so I gave him five bucks for this game. It's, again, nothing that special. It's just uh, Prince of Persia HD Trilogy. And it has um, Sands of Time, Warrior Within, and The Two Thrones. Now, uh, Warrior Within, I didn't like that much. And Two Thrones, I haven't played yet. But Sands of Time, I did play when I was younger. And I did kind of like that game, but... Uh, on the scale of all the games that I've played, it's not really high up on the list. Now, the last thing that I got was uh, a game guide, and it sucks that it's not an official Nintendo Power game guide, but uh, it's still good, and uh, it's for a series that I like. It is Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver version. Uh, it is uh, Volume One. Because apparently it came in two volumes. The first volume covers the Johto region. And the second volume covers the Kanto region. I believe that's how it broke down. Because there's nothing at all about the Kanto region in this. It doesn't even have the National Pokedex in it. It just has the Johto Pokedex. So let's just uh, uh, wait and see. I'll try to, try to pick up uh, the... Uh, I should say I should try to pick up... Uh, volume 2 as well, uh, but yeah, this one I liked. I liked also that it still had the uh, town map uh, insert in there, and I paid 10 bucks for this. It's in okay condition, like, the laminated cover is sort of, like, coming off on the side there, but uh, it's no big deal. Uh, anyways, uh, it's about 5 minutes now. Uh, I should just Cut it off here. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you want to say at all, uh, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything, leave it there. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And uh, as always, see ya.